Shit, man. Let's go. Where do we start? That is a good question. The alien stuff is more complex, so um, everything everything sort of stretches your brain just a little bit more. I also have Chris, you know, pushing me to sort of make it different, make it not not fully expected. Alien ships, I think, are super interesting because they have a completely unique Ooh. aesthetic. In so this is what the skin, this other skin looks like. Look, I think it's like a black, right? That looks beautiful, man. That looks beautiful. Man, I'm really loving this skin. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really, I really like this skin. This is a really cool skin. Carbon fiber? Yeah, carbon fiber. That looks Side, really cool. And this ship particularly, we wanted to create a alien cargo ship. So we wanted to have a sort of above entry level cargo ship that could carry a good amount of cargo for its size, be well defended, multi-crew. We wanted it to be Xi'an, but we didn't want it to be Aopa, their, their combat brand. So we worked up this new company called Gatak, and this is the Gatak Raylan cargo ship. No, it's Gatak. That's how you say it. Right, Gatak. hard cut. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's do a brief history of House Gatak. They were a vassal of House Urua during the Great Divide, which is the Xi'an Civil War. Um, at the end of the Great Divide, House Klo, who didn't like the way that the peace talks were going, decided that they wanted to kill all the leaders of the houses that were engaged in peace talks. So they sabotaged the network of antique satellites, antique weather satellites that surrounded the um, Xi'an homeworld of Rixiang, and accidentally destroyed the whole atmosphere rather than just the atmosphere above the peace talks. Oops. So after this tragedy, after everybody fled the home world to the next closest planet, Kawa, um, the house Rua, in recompense for its loss, was elevated to the first imperial house. That's where the first emperors came from. And one of the first things that they did was reward people who fought under them for their service. So they awarded House Ngatak a license in perpetuity to build industrial spacecraft for the entire Saoxian. In, in the Saoxian, the um, Saoxian, the Xi'an Empire, they are known for being like really innovative and interested in discovering the next big Man, these, these are some really, really cool designs. I really love these, man. I like, I kind of like the three. Kind of like the three pylon look it looks actually really cool um i wouldn't mind if they come up with a different a different line for gatak um cargo ships and have like a three a three pylon type of design how did they come up with these lures man they worked a long time for these lures they are good they're very detailed with the lore for sure some really cool interesting uh designs i like this one as well this looks really cool this looks really cool this kind of looks like one of the ships from um eve online this even looks cool this one right here very interesting big cool thing in technology and that's part of why they immediately jumped on the opportunity to make a ship that would be friendly to both Xi'an and humans. Like, cutting out stuff is their thing. The alien stuff is the hardest one to sort of deal with, with sort of branding. We did our usual, we came up with three sort of strong candidates to give to Chris to have a look at. And from there, it's, I mean, people will see that... Uh... Yeah, this one isn't even too bad. This one is nice also. One is really nice. I feel like it's a little bit longer than what they agree, they they the, the final look, but this one is not too bad. Very early on, it was it was Ooh. almost locked in. It was like okay, look at that. This 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 one is sick. This one is sick. Oh, so hold on. If okay, for this design, the turrets can both face forward, right? I hope the in the final design, 
the turrets can also face forward. Because if the turrets can face forward, that's scary. Okay, this is what we're doing. We're a lot more confident in how we approach these things now. You know, we make sort of stronger decisions right at the start to push those through. One of the big features of the ship was the fact that it changes shape like massively. So that's the really nice thing about this ship. And coupled with... Uh, oh man, I love that. You gotta, we gotta see that again. We have to see that again. That looks amazing. Look One of that. the big features of the ship was the fact that it changes shape like massively. So that's the really nice thing about this ship. And coupled with... Uh, okay, so... The turrets can face forward still in the final art. Because look at this, right? The turrets can face forward. That is scary. So these are, you're looking at four size four guns on the same target. That's scary. For a cargo ship, that's quite impressive. So that's the really nice thing about this ship and coupled with, uh, you know, the sort of final materials that we came up with. There's no mistaking the ship now. It's, it's, okay, this is the Gatak cargo ship. There's no messing around. The Rayland crew capacity is four people. Uh, so you have the, the pilot, uh, you have uh, an engineer, and then you have the two extra crew to man the two man turrets, which are on the side of the ship and provide a, a good range of cover. Uh, for it. Uh, there is space for all four to be on the bridge when not in combat um, or elsewhere in the ship, but ostensibly that's what the, the four roles are for. The Raylan has 320 SCU of cargo, and this is all pretty much external. You can see it on the back of the ship. That is so cool. Okay, so hold on. Does the turret... This The, the turret looks like it's not attached. Maybe it is. I think these these are these are attached to it. these are attached to it. But it looks like the turrets just come out on its own and just hovers. That is super cool. This is a really good good shot, man. And it looks like they're fighting. Are they fighting the uh the cat? It looks like they're fighting a caterpillar. You know what we we you know what's interesting? Look at this image right here. Maybe we're getting some insight on what some of the planets are going to look like. So this looks like maybe a home planet of, of the Xi'an. And it looks like maybe this planet naturally has a uh, gravlev, not gravlev, but levitation um, on the planet. So some, maybe some of the terrain have levitation or I don't know what the science is. And maybe that's how they learned uh the gravlev kind of technology from their home planet because look at this right i would love to come to a planet that has this kind of thing it looks really it looks pretty it looks pretty magnetic part visual choice part gameplay choice they are fixed containers on the rear of the ship and the cargo goes inside them so having it external allows us to keep the internals of the ship all nice and compact but also does give a toss-up in choice between do i pick a ship with lesser cargo but is more protected or do i go for this uh, which can carry more in one run but has the risk of if i get jumped on in, in transit my cargo is more at risk that's something we always try and do with our ships is not have one ship that is superior in every single way to another ship that's that's equal to it we want there to be trade-offs even from you know trying to get into this ship it's going to be a unique experience so listening to what he said the ship they they purposely made this one they made the uh railing yeah, in every single way to another ship on. superior one ship that is they purposely made the railing have the exterior cargoes right so that means Gatek is definitely probably going to have another line or another series that's going to have interior cargo. So I'm, I'm actually excited to see that as well. I really like this. Um, so in order to have more um, cargo, they put the um, cargo pods outside. 
they'll be exposed but then again this ship has some pretty decent firepower um two size four missile racks and two size three missile racks so there, there that's going to be some firepower so if you're going to be attacking this you got to be you got to know what you're doing and i think it's a good balance for it because if it was size three I, i'll feel like it's a little underpowered though and good shields stunder how you doing how you doing by the way superior in every single way to another ship that's that's equal to it we want there to be trade-offs even from you know trying to get into the ship it's going to be a unique experience so you've you know essentially you've got a grav left platform that's going to fly through the air come and greet you you get on it click a button takes you up to the entrance of the ship through the airlock Yeah, Jonathan. So Jonathan says one benefit about this ship is though though at least the external cargo cargo is only at the back um so you can divert shield power to protect it. Unlike the hull, the hull series uh where it is at the the middle of the ship. I completely agree. Um I I really like that I think it's going to have some fairly powerful uh cutting edge shield technology. I think that's important for a ship like this so um also they need to it needs to come stocked with really good um components that are good with preventing or sustaining emp hits like emp rocket hits or emp uh direct emp fire so um yeah because i think this thing is not dependent on armor at all. It's dependent on shield. So it needs to have some super beefy shields as well as, um, yeah, high recharge and beefy shields, I think. Let's go back a little bit before we continue. Uh, come and greet you. You get on it, click a button, takes you up to the entrance of the ship through the airlock. That's where you first get your experience of the Xi'an architecture within this ship. When you choose to Let's get look at the this. Let's look at this. experience of the Xi'an. So, back here, I believe this is where the docking collar would be, right? And then this is the top level, and this is the area where the elevator will come from all the way from the bottom all the way through. Um... And then this will take you to the bridge. So you walk through and then you'll get to the bridge. Interesting. Okay. Back here. Okay. So I think this is the living quarters right here. Right. And then it's elevator. The mess hall right here. Nice, 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 nice. So I think in there is where they'll probably have... Um, I think there was, I forget what it was, but it's a place where you can get food and stuff like that. It's a new, it's kind of a new technology that we haven't seen in game yet. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited to see that. Astig, what's going on? How you doing? Terminal hamster, what's going on? How you doing? And then right here, it doesn't seem like there's much in here. So this is the entrance when you get into the ship. I don't see anything else. And architecture within this ship when you choose to get on the lift to go up to habitation um, you know you've got a console that's made out of like 50 different pieces in it and it all builds itself into into position and you click the button get on your elevator which isn't the standard elevator either at the moment it's at an angle so you have a very different experience oh like that is so cool look at that floors and the floor so this controls the elevator, I think. Let's go back. The standard elevator either at the moment it's at an angle, so look at this. A very different experience of like transitioning up. Look how it builds itself. Floors. That's so cool. Will also um, transform to sort of enable you to get through. Okay, so you know what I'm curious about? This one, so this looks like this is grab lev. These are grab levs. And you can place whatever on top of it, just like this, right? So I wonder if they'll give us modularity options in order to install something else here. 
this looks like maybe this is used to control the elevator but can you put another one here for a different purpose that's my question no that's what i'm thinking easily so then when you're in the habitation section you've got access to beds and lockers you can go left and right to the turrets and escape pods and then you've got the dual race kitchen and bathroom section and then sort of like a communal eating area and then from there up uh, basically it takes you into a more technical section and so you can either go to um, a docking which is at the rear of the ship um, and then you've also got uh, a good portion of components in like the sort of quite technically themed area of the ship and then you transition through there towards the bridge and again in there is um, we were looking at a way of being able to access components in a non-standard way so the big stuff we've kept quite traditional because it makes sense to so just cool. there uh, but the smaller stuff it's it's kind of like a component delivery system so you choose which component you want to access it's delivered to you you can change out whatever it is that is that is so cool i've i've never i never thought they would do something like this that is so cool so what you can do is if you want to access the components this this um access point will build itself up and then you can select what component you want to work on and then it will go back and we'll go and look it's, for it it's kind of like bring a it to you and then you can so work you on it that is so cool component you want to access it's delivered to you you can change out whatever it is you need to choose change very nice very nice very nice off you and absorbed back into the ship then you just transition into the bridge open bridge um and then like i mentioned the captain and the um, co-pilot at the front in the large like floating almost like ufo style uh. is that not the coolest seat ever <laughs> oh my goodness jonathan you're buying it now <laughs> bro <laughs> what tips you over <laughs> oh man Amaruk sounds uh sounds so complicated it might take years for them to finish this ship all i need to see it's for the furniture forming and where's my wallet <laughs> bro i'm on the same page man look at this man i've never seen anything like this before like i knew cig has some really cool ideas but Absolute like back into damn. The ship. then you just transition into the bridge open bridge um and then like i mentioned the captain and the that. co pilot at the front in the large like floating almost like ufo that is so cool uh, seats so i think there's plenty of great opportunity in there for in terms of animation and what we can do with what's oh cool so it looks like the components are on both sides so you'll have to know which side you're, you want components and then so i'm guessing they're mirrored on each other so maybe there's two size there's two components on each side maybe i don't know but it, that's what it looks like this also has that delivery system that they were talking about in regards to the the components uh retrieval system spinning what's moving what's reconfiguring um so i think the ship team is going to have a lot of fun with that so what does the <laughs> railing shiv you know what i'm thinking about my nomad too i'm thinking to upgrade my nomad to this <laughs> add to star citizen as a whole it really increases the diversity of spaceships um especially alien ones because they are entire races of creatures and they don't just have combat ships they have their own infrastructure needs they have their own transport needs so whatever we do as the human race there there is going to be mirrors for for those races when you are traveling through all the solar systems in the game you don't want to just be seeing the the same freelancer or the same hull everywhere you want this variety of ships to encounter and ships to to progress through on your cargo journey The Gatak Raylan. Man. <laughs> I'm impressed, man. I'm I'm impressed. Out of all the concept ships. Like this ship impresses me more in terms of design, right? In terms of design, this ship impresses me impresses me more, even with my favorite ship in the game, which is the Polaris. I feel like this is top notch. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is a beautiful ship. 